Thanks for watching. If this video was helpful to you, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future. All right, so we're doing an unboxing of our new Gaja Cadorna Prestige Super Automatic Bean to Cup Espresso Machine that we got from WholeLatteLove.com. I watched Mark's videos on YouTube, and they were fantastic. He does a lot of great reviews, comparison side by sides. This machine um, can make 14 different coffee drinks, including milk-based coffees. So we're gonna unbox our super coffee maker. Okay, so it's packed really nicely. We have uh, one of the water filters and power cord. This, I, let's see, it looks like a coffee scoop and some oil, uh, grease for the machine. This is the milk canister so this can go right in your fridge if I can get it out it goes right in your fridge hooks right to the machine so that you can make your milk based coffees cool and you take it off when you don't need to use it right on plastic digging it has a lot of detail though beautiful okay look at this beautiful machine So this is the bean hopper here. I don't know everything about it, but this is where you put your beans. It has the grinder. This is where you can put a single scoop, like if you want, if you want to use ground coffee for like decaf coffee, so you could do a single scoop there. Sweet. Nice cover, it has a good seal on it here. Nice. This is the display panel. There's a sticker on there right now to show you what it'll look like. But you'll be able, it'll have this display here. You can just push the button and it'll make the drink. See, um, now you're speaking my language. <laughs> there is an on off button. This is a my favorites button. So there are four different profile buttons on here. So each, four, up to four people can have their own profile so they can save their favorite drinks, especially if they modify them from what they were originally um, programmed to do. Uh, there's a home button, a clean and a settings button, and then a start stop button. Easy. This is where the beautiful copy will. This is where the magic happens. Come out. This is where you'll connect your milk container. I think you take this. I think you take this out. Yes. And so your milk container will. I should probably read the directions first. Good thing you did your homework, Lise. I thought this was a I think beer I need maker. To read the directions first. I literally thought this was going to make beer. I'm <laughs> kidding. I'll read the directions first. I don't want to break it. Good idea. <laughs> the, let's see. We could just get this back for a little bit of light, right? Yeah, sure. And this here. Nice. I have no idea what I'm doing right now. I better put that. CD thing. goes in there, right? It's like a CD thing. Sure. Play some tunes. <laughs> then the strip tray will fit in cool. here. Cool. Dog. Like nice. So. And there it is. And then on the side. Oh, sorry. Somewhere in here. Oh. Are you still rolling? One second. Okay, we have moved it to the kitchen and it looks perfect under the counter. On our horrible counters. Yes, our horrible, <laughs> but you can see there's plenty of room under the under the, under the uh, cupboards. And now my wife. Is gonna come over here. <laughs> and she's gonna show you guys how to put the milk It is. So basically from back here, it's 15, 15 inches, just a little over 15 inches. 
Let alone Aww. 15 inches, okay. Plenty of clearance. But obviously you have to slide it out every time you have to refill your beans, but that's not every time you want to make a drink. Right. Just whenever you have to refill Just the hopper. Just when you have to fill the hopper with beans. So we have our milk carafe. So we figured out what we were doing wrong. This here, where we want. Yeah. This needs to be opened up fully. Yeah, you have to open that. This is where the milk, uh, the froth will come out into your drink. So that just needs to be open in order to get the milk jug in there. Well, that's it. That was oh, too easy. Yeah, we were trying to push it in with this thing in. And then this little tab hits this wall, so it won't allow you to do it. So that's how you get the milk carafe in there. And then you're able to take this lid off while you're, even while you're brewing a drink to add more milk into the container. Beautiful. Love but this it. doesn't have to be attached unless you're doing a milk drink. So you can just leave this in Untouched. the refrigerator. And this one here is just for hot water. So you can do hot tea or just hot water. And that just fits in like so. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. I took the sticker off the front. Now we're going to clean the it up. sticker is here, which is fine if we need it as a guide. But we're going to clean up the machine. Plug it in. And we're going to make a cup of coffee, so stay tuned. Okay, so we're back. We did all the cleaning of the parts. Um, we decided not to show that because if you don't know how to wash dishes, you need to call your mom. <laughs> For sure. Yep. So we washed all the dishes. Um, and mommy, there's good instructions in here on how to tear apart this milk container. This was the most detailed, this whole piece right here was the most detailed to clean. But it's very detailed in the book. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't think you, we didn't dunk this in water. Um, we did these parts, but we didn't dunk the lid itself in water because we're not sure. Um, and now we need to... Look at that, look at that coffee cup, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> it really doesn't fit under there, but I thought it'd be funny to put in the video. Right, it's actually... Quite a large mug. Okay. <laughs> you but think? We have to run some cycles through this. This is the water dispense or the coffee dispensing spouts here, down here. This is where the beautiful stuff comes out. And this is the water sides. So we filled this with water. And now we have to kind of run through this little program here. We're gonna we're gonna select English. Um whoops. I push the down button. This is the check mark, so we're gonna select English, yes. Are you sure you wanna select English? Yes. So that's saved. Let's no get your English. coffee machine with a few simple steps. Add beans. Oh yeah, I guess we're supposed to do that, right? Okay, so we'll add some beans. So we're gonna use this Lavazza Espresso Italiano because our coffee that was coming from Whole Lot of Love, unfortunately UPS um, destroyed our box and all of our extra contents were not there. So, so we have to search town for the right beans. So this is where you put the beans in, I hope. <laughs> Anyways, we made sure not to get an oily bean. This is one that they actually sell on Whole Lot of Love's website but we um were desperate so we got it from world, world market. market world market Jinx. um because you don't want the oily ones so i'm not quite sure how much to fill it just I, think you just, I think you just fill it i feel like i need a yeah. starbucks and then just put the on lid here. on so this we noticed this is how this opens this whoop, this is your scoop. If you're gonna make like a cup of decaf, you put one scoop in there, nothing more um, to make that coffee. So, okay. Lids back on. There's little handles down here so that when you move the machine, you can put your hands here on both sides to move it around. Okay, we added the beans. Place a container under the coffee and water spout. Go ahead and use your big cup if you want. Well, we can use one of the ones we just cleaned too. They're right there. That way it shows better. Okay. Check. Filling water circuit to start press. Oh shoot, we need something over here too. Oh shoot. <laughs> Maybe it's supposed to be over here. 
In the next steps, we'll set the correct water hardness level. Okay, maybe we need two cups. And there's this thing here, so I need something smaller. Um, we have the little... Okay, so we're, they're gonna set the water hardness level. Put the test strip one second into the water and wait one minute. hardness strip which came with the coffee maker. 1001, then you take it out. Remove the strip and wait one minute. And you note how many of these squares turn red. And then you adjust your water hardness from that. Okay, so we did the hardness test and it depends on how many of these squares are red. We have a little bit of red in this one. I guess we have super, super soft water, so there's no way to check zero. So we're gonna check the one. Other words, you can up and down this. So check, and that's been saved. And you are ready to enjoy. Uh-oh. It's rinsing. Okay, it's making a weird sound. It's priming the water, I think. It's showing that it's rinsing. It water is coming out. We have liftoff. cycle. So this is if you have it empty for a long time um, and it needs to prime the water circuit. So you place a container under the coffee dispensing spout, not the water, but we don't know what's going to happen here so we're doing both. I'm um, browse through the pages here and here's your arrow. You're going to browse through and check the espresso, espresso lungo. lungo. And then you are going to it says to press the the single serve, you know, the coffee, ground coffee button, but I don't see it. I do, right here. Oh, I'm too far over. It's, yeah, it's, it's right there. Okay. Here we go. And press the start stop button. Now this will do without coffee because there's no coffee grounds in there. So it's just gonna do water. And this is a rinse cycle. It's heating up. Coffee's brewing. Coffee is brewing. Oh yeah. Okay, so the next step you want to make sure that this water dispensing spout is installed here. And you're gonna go up to your menu and hit hot water. Make sure you have this under this uh, cup underneath this water dispensing spout. And I think we'll switch these. No, they won't switch. And then you hit the start stop button. And then you're going to do this, um, the hot water, and hit the start button until the water tank is empty. And then the machine will be ready for use. Yay! <laughs> Bring it. Ooh, look at that go. Bring it. That's only making noise because these cups are touching here. Okay, so we've run it through all the run cycles. We have to add water, but first we're adding the Intenza Plus water filter. This came in the package with the coffee maker. Yes, we um, did. You can always order more. So you have to submerge it in the water initially with this screen part up. This cup was too small because you want to be able to squeeze this part to get all the air out, so I had to use a bigger dish. But So then you take this out, and on the bottom, if you can see, there's an A. Is that too close? No. An A, B, and a C. And you do it by the water hardness. There's an arrow right here to light it up. So we're going to go to A, maybe. <laughs> maybe not. Maybe you do this part up here. Oh, you oh do there the, we go. Okay, you don't turn this, you turn this little dial to A, because we were at a one. So um, 
there's directions on um, B is three squares and C would be hard water four squares. And you take this and you're gonna put this inside. We removed this piece and this can now just be stored somewhere dry. It's not gonna be in use. And then you are going to put this in here like so. And then this will help get out some of the minerals in the water to keep slime scale from building. Okay, so we just put the water filter in, put the water container back in, and we're gonna hit the settings button on here because it's not asking me about the filter. It's the first time we put one in. In other words, it'll tell you to replace it. So I think we go to settings, water filter, and we're gonna activate because we put a new water filter in. Go. Um, two minutes to start. Press. Let's put a water jug in our I don't think it needs one, but set the filter based on A, B, or C. And I think A's moved over, so I'm assuming that's what it is. Shake the filter and submerge it upside down in the water to eliminate air bubbles, which I did. Insert the filter into the water tank. I did that. Fill and insert the water tank. I did that. Place a container under the coffee and water spout. Coffee and water spout. Put a cup under here, so we have some water pouring out of the hot water milk frother side. The funny thing is, didn't it say to put a jug? Oh, under it said under the water and the coffee spout, so we, that's why we have two over there. Okay, Look, it looks like it's going to take 30 seconds or so. Okay, so we. Prime the filter, it actually used like one and a quarter of these cups, so make sure you have a big enough cup. And it only came out of the water spout. So now we're just going to brew coffee. We're supposed to brew five coffees to get the system set, so here goes nothing. Four ounces, I think that'll be fine. Four, so this yeah, is it's 7.30 at night. Four ounces, <laughs> um, medium on the temperature, this is if it's in somebody's personal setting. This is your strength, so it's kind of in the middle of the strength for the coffee. Um, and this is if you want to brew two coffees at the same time. But we're just going to do one. Start this one. I don't think it's going to come from there. You hear the beans grinding? Yep. The beans are grinding. Oh, whenever the water was heating up, we timed it. This heat up section it took 10 seconds for the water to heat up 13 seconds by the time it was pouring out that's Total. it fast here it comes oh it's still heating up yeah it only took 10 seconds unbelievable look at that well what do we have here i thought it was going to be beer what is going on <laughs> Well, it will be pretty soon because Actually, it's it looks already like beer. 7 at night. It looks like beer. I'm still going to drink coffee tonight. Might have to put Bailey's in it, though. So this is not very strong coffee. As you can see down here, it does have, what do they call it, a crema. But I definitely would want stronger coffee than that. Sure. All right. So this was a four ounce pour here. You can see that that's pretty weak, but it's just also, that was the first time beans had ever gone in the grinder. So that might be why. So we will repeat that same step on this one. We'll see you in a second. Okay, so we've done four cups. Definitely getting darker each cup we do. We each haven't changed, we haven't changed a single setting. We just keep pushing start. Watch how much darker this is now. Grains each cup. Coffee for each cup. Oh my God, that looks so amazing. I mean, 
so much darker than it was. Now you can adjust the settings on how much coffee you actually want to brew. Like this is only four ounces, which for me will not be enough. But no. there's a way to adjust that and read the directions. <laughs> so it's just about done. I like this thing where it tells you how much longer is left. So you get to test the first. Oh, it's gonna probably be way too hot. I don't know, it's just medium though. All right, oh, not, so. Are you drinking that one? There is the fifth cup that you can't see through that one like you could the first one. No. At all. It's hot. And it, that's strong. Let me see. <laughs> it's very hot. <laughs> you wanna see? Eh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so a couple things. Here, I'll leave that Here, let me you. sip it. Sip it slow. A couple uh, things. That we didn't mention, so. The water definitely goes in this drip tray. Wow, that is good. But you don't really have to clean it out till this red button button pops up. That tells you there's too much water in the drip tray, and then there's push buttons on the side for you to take it out. Um, and then, oh yeah, look at all that water in there. Oh, maybe we should dump that. Maybe. <laughs> okay, we're gonna dump the water. So a couple things that we wanna point out. This red bar here, if you reach underneath and pull it out, this is like a step stool. Whoops, did I pull it too far? It's like a step stool for whenever you make your espressos. Okay, we'll push that back in. Now I'm going to make what I've been waiting to make. So I'm gonna use, I filled that up with milk. Um, open this up. You gotta pull that out, yeah. Squeeze the little tabs on the side to take those out. Put this in a little bit of an angle, and then it fits snug right in this little lip here. So this should be out. And we're gonna put our coffee here. Oh boy, I'm excited. And I don't want the latte macchiato, or maybe I do, I don't know. Latte macchiato extra large. I guess that is what I want. So here we go. It's gonna do 10 ounces of milk, 1.7 ounces of coffee. Drum roll, please. It's heating up. It is heating up. Even plays music. It plays no. <laughs> music. Things are getting weird. Even our dog's excited. <laughs> How happy. Happy. <laughs> Sorry, my dog's jumping on me. <laughs> Now the coffee's on the way. Oh. Is that gonna be a big enough cup, please? I don't know. You can see the separation starting here. Yeah. And oh, I guess that's it? That is it. Wow. Look at that beautiful thing. And then of course you have to put some caramel on it. Caramel macchiato, right? Oh, yes. Oh boy, here we go. The excitement is getting intense. All right, goodbye Starbucks. <laughs> is it good? Mm. Oh. <laughs> 
Happy wife, happy life. Always. Here, put it down so I can have a sip. All right. We are glad we got this. Thanks, whole latte love com. And that's it. Um, yeah, super excited. Can't wait to wake up tomorrow. If I ever get to sleep.